that it would be highly irregular of me to share with you the way we fund these lovely dry videos. But suffice to say, I'm kind of given a budget and I have to spend it in the best way possible to create the best footage possible. It's not a vast amount of money, so I've had to make a tough choice this year. I've decided that rather than spend lots of money on fuel for me, knocking around in big V8 cars every day, I was going to spend less money doing that and buy a diesel estate car. So a few weeks ago I bought a diesel Passat Volkswagen estate, 100 horsepower, and boy did I cop some absolute SH1T for that. Everyone said I was being boring, I should be living the dream, I should be the person that pushes all of this stuff, and there I was buying a Passat. Well, there were two reasons why I'm quite happy in my Passat. First of all, it's a very nice car. 2,800 quid, reliable, comfortable, heated front seats, crucial, 45 to the gallon. You know what, it gets me where I need to go to. Second thing, well, I'm sort of cheating here and being a bit smug. I get to drive stuff like this, so I don't really mind. This is a Porsche 911 rally car built by Francis Tuttle Limited. I think they make the best old running 911s in the world, but then I'm a bit biased because the boss, Richard Tuttle, the skinny, bald one you're about to see, is a mate of mine. For his team, this was just a scheduled test for suspension and gearbox. I merely went along for the jolly. You know, the whole rally vibe is more relaxed than racing. People smile and cool stuff just tends to happen. Wide, isn't it? Why have you made a classic Rally 911 that's got a, a dog box in it and about 340, 350 horsepower? Is that not a bit sort of defeating the point of the whole object of the game? It's not historic, if that's what you mean. It's a post-historic, is it? Well, no, no it's not even not post-historic. It's, it's just be a port. It's Belgian rules. Bel what does that mean? Mega, that's what it means. <laughs> <laughs> it means, it means that you can, as long as you use the original crankcase, yeah. you can do whatever you want, yeah. which is great, so you can make it bigger. Um, as long as you don't have sequential gearbox, you can do whatever you want, yeah. hence the dog box. Yeah. And as long as you don't go below the homologated weight, okay. you can Which do what is you what? want. About 970, I think. So what's this way? Just uh, about a thousand and just So it's a thousand kilograms. 350 horsepower. And it's geared to do 120 miles an hour. Yeah. It's a bit I mean, it's, it's a ridiculously good bit of kit. Yeah, but it's um, quite surprising. It's not bad for a... For a 1970s old thing, is it? No. Well, you, you're pretending that you're working today, but really. <laughs> so, so we've also just been out now, and, and obviously you're driving the car like a rally driver, and you're trying to think about the circuit driving thing. But uh, it's interesting watching you because you try the circuit driving thing for about a minute. I mean, you have got the concentration span of a sort of slightly um, a genetically uh, deformed goldfish. So, so I would say that you get bored of it after about a minute, don't you? And and then you just think, it, I'll go sideways. Pretty sure that's a compliment in there somewhere, but yeah, no, you're, you're right. It's um, what Graham keeps doing is give us more grip. So if an engine gives you more grip, then you just push a bit harder until you lose a grip, and um, do skids really, <laughs> which, which is what we like. How much does a car like that cost? <clears throat> a lot. How much? Uh, 150. Something in that something in that region. If we built another one, this has evolved a little bit, so it's probably been less painful. Is, and what what does that race against? Oh, anything that looks old but isn't. And, and bear in mind, we are within the rules. And are you suggesting that some cars are not within the rules? <laughs> I might be, but we, we so are. So what are you are against? What are you against? Escorts? Um, escorts, uh, Mantas. Um, Stratos? There's not a quick Stratos. Uh, that's sort of, there's a whole lot of Opal products that go quickly. Yeah, yeah. They never used to. Um, <laughs> but really, 911 and Escort, really. That's where we're at, and 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 some very quick. Okay, but I don't know anything about. Them. So, the main advantage of this thing is traction, isn't it? Always. So you just yeah. come out of the corner, bang, open it up, and go. Yeah, and Belgium is very unique. You've got a lot of square junctions, so you need to brake late into them and get out of them quick. Yeah. Um, and the 911 does that beautifully. Uh, I mean, the, the the way some of the Belgian boys drive their Escorts defies belief. Why do they, do they get the car literally backed in? Yeah, long long way before, and then big skids on the way out. But um, we we can beat them with this car easily. So this is the good bit of the day. 
they've done their test, they've played with their dampers, they've changed their struts, they've changed their roll bars, and now I get to have a skid in the car, um, which is what it's all about. And uh, yeah, it's, it's moments like this that I remember when I'm doing 73 miles an hour down the M5 in my Passat 100 PDTDI. So, now it's my turn. Now I can't drive this car quite the way Richard can, but it's just a lovely collection of noises. Dog gearbox whine. And did 365 horsepower. Yeah, boys, I'm indulging myself here. This is not a car test. This is just a car that I wanted to drive. And it's a classic 911. Watch this. You back it in straight away. It wants to oversteer. It's just a thing of joy. I'm actually clutching up and down at the moment because I want to save the dogs. than just wanting to drive it gratuitously, of course, that is half the case. A lot of people ask me, what is the driving I really like the most? Well, do you know what? This isn't the North Driver, this is a little test track in the Midlands in England. But this car is everything about driving for me. I'm doing everything myself, you know? If I back it in, the car will over there's no electronics to help me there get it a bit wrong, it punishes you. But it's just awesome. And that dog gearbox, as he misses the shift, is sensational. Everything you do has an effect on the behavior of the car. And that is real driving. 365 horsepower dog gearbox historic racing 911. This is where it's at. Tell you what, if I won the lottery, this is what I'd be doing. It's also quite heartening to drive a 911 that's a proper 911. This isn't a 997 or a 991. If you back off, it will just rotate. This car feels like it wants to rotate every single time you back off the throttle. They love the challenge. So there you go. This, my kind of driving.